Hello friends, we are at day seven of our 14 day challenge. That means that we are at the halfway mark, which is said to be downhill from here. <laughs> All right, so I thought I would uh, bring you or share with you some sunset. Let me see, can I flip this around? I see we've got this like really urban thing going on behind me, but check this out. Let's see. I'll do a picture of it too. All right. So that's where we are. We've got music and all kinds of things going on, but I do have something I want to share with you. Okay, first of all, as always, I am greeting you in gratitude because I wouldn't be here without um, the energy and the support of, of each of you. So, wow, ever, ever thankful. Okay, so that's, let's just dive right into where I'm at on this midway point of this journey. I'm gonna title this one today inner legislation okay and here's where that's coming from so here we go inner legislation so legislation boom that is law what is law law is that which is laid down that which is fixed so it occurred to me today that in the midst of all of the very active external legislation going on and I'm speaking specifically of cannabis marijuana and the prohibition and the messy sticky unforgivable mess that uh, the legalization issue the national legalization issue is okay so today December 11th um, some news came out well it, it started even before today but we see just how far the FDA wishes to go in terms of their meddling with what should be a very natural relationship between a healing plant called cannabis sativa and a wise being called homo sapien. So this really like imbecile alphabet soup organization is interfering so here let me just break this down so the outer legislation is in conflict with the inner legislation let's start from the inside and work our way out that's the way that all the laws of life work starts internally and manifests and expresses externally so the inner legislation says this this is your the inner, inner legislation of your human body of your uh, physiology, of your anatomy. And that is that from the top of your head to the soles of your feet are little catcher mitts, little receptor sites, little cups, empty, waiting to be filled with something called cannabinoids. Your body produces some of them, but it's very likely that your body does not produce all that are needed. So again, the inner legislation, the inner laid down fixed law of your body says that it is to catch, receive, use, and even generate a chemical substance, chemical compound called a cannabinoid. Those that you make are called endocannabinoids. They're made from within you. And then those that you supplement your well-being with are called phytocannabinoids and those come from plants chiefly the cannabis sativa plant so again this is all inner legislation this is the law of your body this is what the endocannabinoid system inside of you says is what court prevails over that so what is missing from all of the um, activist efforts to turn around the prohibition is meditation. Meditation is the way that we will get this, oh God, sorely, sorely needed plant legalized and freed. Why do I say that? I say that because as soon as Homo sapiens come into knowledge of themselves, as soon as we fully connect, I mean on a cellular level, on the deep 
deepest, innermost, core, core of our core kind of being, until we come into the full knowledge of how we are made and of what we are made and for, for what purpose we were made, we're not gonna get any other narrative correct. So this physiological narrative says that our body was designed to meet with cer certain substances in a plant known as cannabis sativa. Here comes the major problem because outer legislation, outer law says that these compounds that our body needs, produces, and has little cups to receive is illicit. Our outer legislation has made us a criminal unto ourself. It has made our own internal chemistry illegal. So I am really trying to make just super clear how absurd, ridiculous, and impossible to comply with this law is. All right, to go further into the schizophrenia, the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, has decided that where they spent about 80 years saying that cannabis sativa is a Schedule One substance. They have said that it has no proven medical use. They have said that it is of the most dangerous, most likely to be abused substance. You know, and it's, it's ranked with heroin and LSD and ecstasy and, and some others. Okay, Schedule Five, you know, being things like Robitussin. So you start at the, at the quote unquote least dangerous level. So level five would be like Robitussin and you get up to like level four, level three, that's when you're getting into, you know, things that have like codeine in them. And then schedule one, which is like the most offensive substance. And that's where cannabis resides currently in the um, federal classification of this controlled substance. That's another problem about this legislation of the uh, inner and outer legislation that there is an external legislator that has deemed our internal chemistry illegal. So there are deep rooted problems. And what I'm saying is that any person that truly comes into the knowledge of themselves any person that really enters into relationship with themselves, their activism is going to be a whole nother level. We, you will not be content going to a court asking for little pieces of alphabet soup. May I have a THC? Can I have a slice of CBD? How about a little CBG, ABC, EFG? No, there are a, over a hundred compounds in this plant. And I'm telling you that this is not the best strategy to go and try and fight one compound at a time. That is not the way to fight this. That's not the way to win this fight. So what I'm saying is that meditation leads to sovereignty within inner legislation. And then with that knowledge and power, we will take care of the very misinformed external legislation. That's really the only way that I can see this, ever, this thing ever transforming and transmuting because Alphabet soup ain't gonna win. Right now, FDA is trying to get monopoly over CBD. And I mean, and there is a very nasty strategic mechanism in place that would, that would eventually get FDA to get all of the alphabetic glory of cannabis. But I would tell you that a people, even a fraction of a people, I don't know what a fraction of a people is what is that like uh, I don't know a third I don't know however but just a, a certain a certain number of awakened individuals who go within to know within and who get that revelation get that insight I will not be separated from the living environment in which I was intended to flourish I will not let this kind of I mean, it, it's such a petty interference. It is such a petty, unworthy disruption that it, I mean, and the way that we're approaching it is like, you know, it's like just trying to, you know, fashion a hairstyle, like one hair at a time. It is, that's not the way to win. So let me fast forward to this. I, I'm just trying to really point out the fact that there is intended an exquisite symphony between people and plants 
and particularly between Homo sapiens and cannabis sativa. And there are federal agencies in the U.S. that are d doing everything within the 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 realm that they have created, the really sick realm that they've created, to own and control and monopolize that that game plan. And I am telling you that legislation, I don't know, I don't believe that that's really the, the way to triumph this battle. But it, it will take an inner knowing because that's going to, I mean, that's going to really be the only way that, that, that we can like get the right kind of anger, wise anger, so that we rise up and just call an end to this thing. FDA trying to gain monopoly of CBD, which they just spent 80 years demonizing. All right, so please, um, in the realm we're talking about voting, thank you so much for your votes. Please, you know, you know what? Today, if you want to, I would encourage you, just don't, don't even take your four seconds to vote for me today. Today, what I'm asking you, I'm sorry that this message was longer, um, you know, than I had intended, but today I'm going to ask that you would Google countable.us, countable.us, and that you would find within it HR 1227 and there put that clip to use put that vote clip to use okay because that is a very effective measure that instead of trying to do this one strand at a time one compound at a time all right that's not the way to fight this battle go for the whole enchilada which is a repeal of the prohibition of marijuana and that's what the House Bill 1227, HR 1227, is all about. Please throw your conscious energy that way for today's vote. I feel like it's really time for us to get smarter and to get more organized and, and to uh, direct the power of our, you know, united intelligence more effectively. So countable.us HR 1227, put a, put, a, put a stop to this ridiculous alphabet soup mama may I crap <sighs> thank you guys I see you tomorrow I think I'll be in a better mood then I love you Mwah. here some more sunset for ya look at that is that not gorgeous yeah <laughs> here's to freedom here's to love Mwah.